Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. As you have seen here that we are going to discuss about polynomials important questions which is related to your MCQ and very short answer also very short question sorry for that so uh, we will be discussing certain types of questions which may be, which may be no I don't think so which may be it will be very very important for your upcoming exams and especially for the MCQ portion so please stay tuned to my video and keep watching it thank you what is the first question the first question is, if the sum of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial is 3x square minus kx plus 6 is 3, what is the value of k? So first of all, we have to assess the conditions that are given in the question. So we have to see the conditions very carefully and only then we will proceed to the solution. So I have written here, it, uh, I have written it here. What is the first condition? The first condition is the sum of the zeros. The sum of the zeros, we know that how many zeros are there? There are two zeros of a quadratic polynomial that is alpha and beta. So alpha plus beta what is the sum of the zeros the sum of the zeros is 3 so alpha plus beta equal to 3 so this is our first condition so what is the next condition and what is the value of k we have to find out the value of k what is being asked in the question we have to be very careful about it what is the value of k we have to calculate the value of k so now so the value of k how will we calculate so alpha plus beta equal to 3 this is the first condition that we know so again we know that alpha plus beta is equal to how much minus b by a yes or not alpha plus beta that is the sum of the zeros of a polynomial is minus b by a and the product of the pol uh, product of the zeros of the polynomial is c by a so alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a so now if we compare this ax square plus bx plus c which is the general form of our quadratic equation so now a is 3 here b is minus k c is 6 so in place of b we are putting one minus k so minus minus it will become plus k and in place of a we are putting one 3 so now what will we do so we have got one condition right alpha plus beta equal to how much 3 so in place of alpha plus beta we can put what k by 3 equal to how much 3 so now k is equal to 3 into 3 which is 9 so this is the value of k okay so this is a different type where uh, we have to find out the value of alpha plus beta minus alpha beta but all of these are confined to what sum of the zeros of the polynomial and the product of the zeros of the polynomial so all of these are confined to these two only so we have to be very very uh, sure about the concept of uh, sum of the zeros of a polynomial and the product of zeros of a polynomial so first First of all, we have discussed about what the how to find out the value of k by using the sum by using certain conditions. So now, so now here we will be doing another type. So what is the question? If alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial x square plus 5x plus 6, we have to find what alpha plus beta minus alpha beta. So we have to find out the value of alpha plus beta minus alpha beta. This is our given condition, and we have to find out the value of it. Okay. So now alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial which is a polynomial here x square plus 5x plus 6 so it is a quantity polynomial so the general form of it is ax square plus bx plus c where a is what a is 1 b is what 5 and c is what 6 so now we have to find out what alpha plus beta minus alpha beta so first of all we have to find out alpha plus beta so alpha plus beta is minus b by a so here it will be minus 5 and a will be here so it will be same only right so we, whether we write 1 or not it will be what minus 5 alpha beta is equal to c by a which is equal to 6 by 1 right so now we have to find out what alpha plus beta minus alpha beta therefore alpha bit alpha plus beta minus alpha beta is equal to minus 5 minus 6 which is minus 11 so this is our, our required value so in this way we can find out the value of alpha plus beta minus alpha beta so guys uh, this is also a similar type of question but this time we have to find something else so in the previous question we uh, we we discussed about how to find out alpha plus beta minus alpha beta so there also we used the uh, sum of zeros and the product of zeros here also we will be using but it is in a different form but how will we use it i will show you the application of it right so now we are we are using the same polynomial it is the same polynomial we are using but here we are changing the uh, the thing that we need to find out okay so now if alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial this find this and this so as usual the first step of it is we have to compare it with with the general form ax plus bx plus ax square plus bx plus c which is the general form of a quadratic equation right so now what is a a is 1 b is 5 and what is c c is 6 so now uh, we are to find out alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a so it's very important to find out these two first so it will be minus 5 a is 1 so it will be same only alpha beta equal to uh, c by a which is 6 so 
whatever we need to find out is mostly confined to these two only. So let us see that how it is confined to these two. Okay. So we have to find out what? 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta. So if we take the LCM of alpha and beta, it will be alpha beta. Here it will be what? Beta plus alpha. So alpha plus beta is ultimately what? Minus 5. And alpha beta is how much? 6. So this is our required answer. So in this way, we can find out 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta. So if you are clear, if your conception regarding the sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros and at the same time, uh, the relation between the sum of the zeros and the coefficient uh, of the quadratic polynomial or the product of the zero and the coefficient of the uh, you know, quadratic polynomial is clear to you, then you can use this condition to find out anything that is given to you here. So this type of questions are very probable and these type of questions will come in the MCQ portion or sometimes even, even uh, in two marks question. So in MCQ it is very important. So these are the three uh, types of maths which is related to polynomials. Uh, that um, is in this video. So in the next video, I'll be uploading uh, more of such types which is related to these two formulas. Okay, so till then stay tuned and uh, just stay connected and if you have uh, if you have uh, you know understood my uh, concepts then do like share and subscribe my video. Thank you. Thank you so much.